For 400 years, European immigrants were pushing around the Native Americans, and now we all want to be related to them. Hi, I'm Andy Lee with Family History Fanatics, and today we're going to talk about that Indian princess in your ancestry. Do you have the story that Grandpa used to tell of some ancestor that married an Indian princess? And are you wondering whether or not that's really true? Well, let me cut right to the chase. No, it's not. See, the Native Americans didn't have any royalty like we know in the European land, so there were no Indian princesses. But that's probably not what Grandpa was talking about. What he really meant was that one of your ancestors married a Native American, and so you have Indian blood. Now, a lot of people find this fascinating. Maybe they want to join a tribe. Maybe they want benefits from the casinos that they own. I don't really know. But can genetics tell you whether or not you do have an Indian ancestor? If you watch my video about Charlemagne, you'll know that as you go further and further back, you're not genetically related to all of your ancestors. You're only genetically related to about 120 of them. That means that after about the seventh generation or so, there's a lot of your ancestors that you don't have any of their DNA. So, if your Indian princess was back in the 1500s or the 1600s, there's very little chance that it's going to show up in your DNA at all. It may actually have happened, but DNA is not going to tell you that. Now, if your Indian princess might have been back in the late 1700s or the early 1800s, well, that's right on the cusp of where we would expect almost all of your ancestors to show up in your DNA somewhere. So if that's the case, DNA may be able to tell you something. So that was the first limitation, is that Indian princess has to have happened within the last five or six generations. Now the second limitation that we run into is trying to decide what Native American DNA looks like. You'd think that'd be really easy, but you see, it's not. When Europeans first started coming to the Americas, the America was filled with Native Americans. There was millions of them. Now about 95% of them were killed off, mainly due to disease, in the next couple hundred years. What that left is that left a lot of little pockets of Native Americans all up and down North and South America. Problem there is there was a lot of these pockets that had a lot of intermingling with the Europeans. For instance, the Cherokees had a lot of intermarriage between Cherokees and Europeans. In fact, one of the first English colonies in North America, Roanoke, later disappeared, and one of the theories is, is that they joined the Croatan Indians who were nearby. This would have caused a lot of intermarriage between the Croatans and the Europeans, and so their DNA would be a big mix of European and Native American DNA. If you didn't know that at the time, and you were later testing, and you would just assume that all that DNA was Native American DNA, when in fact, a lot of it wasn't. So that second limitation is actually trying to figure out what is Native American DNA. And we don't have a good grasp on all the different populations in North and South America to be able to really tell what all of the different Native American DNA is. So if you were tested and you had an Indian princess, it might not show up. It might show up as unknown or it might show up as something else because we just don't have the information yet to be able to say what all these different populations are. Now the third limitation has to do with Native Americans themselves. There's a lot of Native Americans that are very resistant to DNA testing. They don't trust the Europeans. And who can blame them after the way that we've treated them all this time? A lot of Native Americans don't want to find out who they're genetically related to. They have their traditions that have been passed down and that's part of their culture. That's who they're from. And they don't see a need for genetic testing in that case. And so Native American populations is one of the smallest populations that actually have had any kind of genetic testing done. So understanding those three limitations, let's go back to our question. Can DNA testing tell you whether you have an Indian princess in your ancestry? Well, the quick answer, no, because they didn't have princesses. But the expanded answer is still probably not unless it's a very recent occurrence it's within the last three or four generations. And in that case, you probably have some better records than what DNA is going to tell you. Thanks for watching Family History Fanatics. I hope you have a good day.